Heading back to school can be exciting, but one thing that I always stressed over was what system was I going to use to organize my entire workload. I tried to keep track of everything physically, but this always resulted in me lugging tons and tons and tons of notebooks around with notes that couldn't be integrated into my digital life system. There has to be a better way. Well today, I'm excited to share with you my Notion student setup that will help combine your notes, assignments, and any other information for your classes all together to help keep you organized and help you succeed in your academics. Hey guys, my name is Daniel Langwish and this channel is focused on increasing value in tech, productivity, fitness, and lifestyle. And since you're already here, you clearly are someone who values productivity and organization. So you might as well hit that like and subscribe button below because this channel is focused on increasing in that very area, especially revolving around Notion. And make sure you check the description box below where I'll include any relevant links within this video, including a link to my Notion tutorial playlist, and there will also be a link to that above, as well as a link so you can go download this template for yourself. But with that being said, Let's jump into it. So right here, I've got you on kind of my home page for my uh, back to school setup that I put together and have been using with my classes. And uh, this is just kind of an example version of it. Um, and like I mentioned, there's a link below for you to download it. And the idea behind this was to just kind of create the bare bones structure for how a system like this within Notion can work. And then you can download it for yourself or create you know, your own version and edit as you see fit to help tune it to exactly suit your needs. Now running through what we got here, uh, if you look over here, we've got uh, kind of the first thing I set up was a, a table that has uh, semesters and I put it into list view. I just think that looks a little cleaner. Um, and that's kind of, you know, the help keep every semester that you have uh, organized. And we're going to be using that table, and the re this is the why reason I made it a table, as a relation into the other uh, databases that I use, including classes. Then you'll see below here, I've got a section called Other Databases. And this is kind of a big pillar of how this all functions, is by having kind of uh, master databases for each of the main categories. So I've got a master classes database, a master assignments database, and a master notes database. And the reason I want to do that is then when you're for each individual class, you're going to be relating to the master assignments and master notes da database and then filtering by the class so that you get each uh, individual view within each class page. And I think that'll make a little more sense as we go through it. So then over here, I kind of just put together some uh, e example classes. Um, and you'll see when I, so let's click on business administration here. So I've got, you know, a place where you can choose your professor. And so if you've got, you know, multiple professors, you can add them all into there and then choose the one that you're doing. And then we've basically just got lots of relations and you'll see I've got this first semester and this is why I made it a table. I've got it related to fall 2020. Um, so that uh, I can have all of my fall 2020 classes show up. And then when the next semester comes, I'll just filter by a the new semester. Um, and that way it's staying all up to date. And so then I've got those in a list view right here. And then I've got a, a third column over here, which is gonna be where all of my assignments are going and kind of gonna be where for your day to day, you're looking to um, what's coming up next. So let's go in and uh, I'm gonna just you know add, so we've added these classes, but I'm gonna show you kind of how I set up a class page using these other databases so that you can kind of understand how this works for yourself. So going into business administration, we're gonna open this up. So within the business administration page, uh, there's kind of uh, two categories that I'm gonna be adding, which is assignments and notes. And the first thing I like to do, and um, this is just a personal preference, is I like to just add it as a toggle. So we're gonna add uh, assignments first because those might be you know what you wanna see at the top. Um, and then we will add another toggle and say that is notes. So then below here, we are gonna go slash and we're gonna say create linked database. And what we're gonna want is a linked database to our master assignments page. So we're gonna search assignments and we got that here. 
And then we're gonna open this toggle and drag it into here. And the reason I like doing toggles, uh, you, you wouldn't have to, is just as this assignments thing gets longer and longer and your notes gets longer and longer, if you don't want that to clog up the entire thing, you can just close the toggle, which I really like doing. Um, so now we've got it linked to assignments, but this is gonna show me all of the assignments that I have in every class. So then what we got to go do is go over to filter and we're gonna add a filter where the class contains business administration. So now any uh, anytime I uh, have an assignment that's for business administration, it's gonna show up right here. In addition, whenever you add a new assignment here, you'll see the class automatically fills in as business administration. Um, and then this kind of leads into uh, how I have uh, you know assignments set up. You can choose the type of assignment, so reading, paper, study, uh, for something, homework or project. Um, then we've got two uh, due dates, a DO date and a DUE date. Uh, I get this from August Bradley and his YouTube channel. Uh, he's got tons of awesome stuff about Notion. I'll put a link to his channel below. Um, but he talks about how, you know, we have a lot of things, we're so used to this due date um, but it's important to have a DO date, which is the day that you're actually going to complete it. And a lot of times that's a different date than the this due date. Um, and that way you, on your schedule, know exactly what day am I going to sit down and get this done. And it's important for all of your tasks to have that. And he talks a lot about that. So I think that's a really cool feature to add. And then um, a semester, you know, we had fall and all that, and then any information about the assignment we could uh, put down here. So we'll just put test, oh, oh. test assignment. And we'll just say that's a paper. Um, and then boom, it pops up here. And we could add the date we're gonna do it is tomorrow. Um, and again, you can, Go in here, you know, and rearrange all of these to have, you know, probably done on the far left side and and all sorts of stuff like that. And then likewise with notes, we're gonna go into here, we're gonna create a link database, we're gonna create a link to our notes uh, tag. And we're gonna do a very similar thing where we are gonna filter by the class being business administration. So now any time we create a new note, it is going to be automatically under business administration. So what you're gonna essentially wanna do is add all of your classes and then go through each class page and add these uh, linked databases. And that way, uh, each you, if you're just wanting to focus on one class, it's gonna show up uh, the relevant information within that page. So then let's go back here to the to the main page and you'll see anytime we add any task to uh, to a class it's going to show up here under our assignments because and right here we've got a filter going just where um, done is not checked and that's because we got this set as our upcoming assignments so obviously this is gonna be things that we haven't completed yet but then we have another filter which is for completed so anytime you complete something it's gonna go to there so for example, if I click this checkbox, you'll see it disappears. And then if we go over to completed, you'll see depreciation assignment is now completed. And if you wanted, you could go into here, you can change what properties you want visible. You know, if you, maybe if you don't care what type it is, but you wanna see what class it is, you know, you can do that. And then the class would uh, show up like that. Um, but personally, um, I kinda like, Usually I kind of know what some what class the thing's for and I care more kind of what type of thing is it doing. And then this again is the DO date, the date I'm gonna complete it. And again, there's there's more things you can add here. You know, I, I played around with, uh, you know, adding a, you could add a calendar so that all your assignments show up on here. Although right now with the three column view, um, it kind of crams them all together. So maybe you might, you know, throw that at the top. You can rearrange things however you want. Um, you could add a, uh, maybe you want an easy way to take notes, you know, maybe you just wanna jump into your, into your main page and be able to take a note right away. Well, we could easily do that by adding a linked database to notes again. 
Um, but instead, uh, all we're going to do is uh, we will just have all of our notes here. And so that you can just write there, add a new note, and choose what class you want it to be for. And, and then immediately just start taking notes. There's, there's so much you can do here and uh, so much uh, flexibility with how you want to set it up for yourself that uh, makes uh, Notion really powerful for staying organized in the way that suits you best because I think everyone knows how to be organized in a different way. Well, that's all I have for today. And like I mentioned, this is just a good starting point. I mean, I just wanted to give you the general kind of structure of how you can use these linked databases uh, to create a system where everything is is being organized and connected together and then you can uh, take the reins from there and, and make it fit you perfectly and I, I think that's so powerful with how Notion lets you work that way. And like I mentioned, I've got my uh, link to this template below if you want to click on that otherwise or you can just follow along and kind of create it yourself or, or complete some create something uh, completely different. And if you do that, please let me know down in the comments uh, w w how you set it up. You know, maybe there's a better way. I, I This was just something that worked for me, but, but I'd be curious to hear what worked for you. And if you have any other template ideas for areas of life that you would like me to create a video on, again, let me know down in the comments below and I would, I would love to keep exploring what how Notion can be used in various aspects of our life. But that's it for today. Until next time.